first ever meeting between the Liberty Flames and the Brevard College Tornadoes. And it was senior day inside Williams Stadium in Lynchburg. 18 Flames seniors were recognized before kickoff. Flames trying to win their fourth straight game. Didn't take the offense long to get rolling. First possession here for the Flames, second and 15 at the Brevard 25. And it's Josh Woodrum hooking up with the junior tight end, Dexter Herman. What a grab. He wrestles that ball away to the end zone. First career touchdown catch for Herman. Filling in for the injured Brandon Apon put the Flames up 7-0 early. Still first quarter, Flames up 7-0. And a first and goal here for DJ Abner. Sophomore running back straight ahead, 10 yards to pay dirt. Touchdown, Flames. Liberty up 14-0. Abner's fifth rushing touchdown of the year. Second quarter, 14-7 Flames when Clifton Richardson gets in on the scoring fun. Third and goal. Pitch to the left, Richardson into the end zone. His only touchdown of the night, but Richardson did lead the Flames with 82 yards on the ground. Put Liberty up here 21-7. First play on the next Brevard drive, and this is about as odd a scoring play as you will ever see. This is Kelvin Jeter getting out to the left, and Kenny Scott gets there and brings him down. Or does he? They tell you to play to the whistle, there was none, so Jeter pops back up, his teammates are telling him go, 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 and so he does go. 75 yards, all the way for the touchdown. The Flames and the rest of the stadium in disbelief. Taking a look at the replay here though, looks like the left knee of Jeter may have very well been down right there. But no instant replay available in this game. Touchdown stands, it's 21-14 now, Flames. No matter, Flames next possession from the Brevard 28, second and eight. Josh Woodrum hooks up with Petey Peterson, 28 yards for the score. After the extra point, made it a 28-14 Liberty lead. That was Peterson's team leading seventh touchdown catch of the year, ties him for second in the Big South. Around three minutes to go, second half, Mr. Woodrum hooks up this time with his tight end, Michael Johnson. First catch of the season, just his second catch of his career, and he's going to take it to the house. 28 yards to the end zone. First career touchdown for the senior Michael Johnson in his final career game at Williams Stadium. But the Flames up 35-14. They lead 42-14 at the break. Flames first drive in the third quarter, capped here by a Dez Rice touchdown. His second of the night. This one coming from one yard out. Liberty running away, 49 to 14 the score. Rice finished the game, 10 carries, 66 yards. Tornadoes facing a third and six on their next possession, and this is just one of three passes thrown by Kevin Herbs in the game. And there's that man again, Jacob Hagen. Third interception in as many weeks, his fourth of the year. Reigning Big South Defensive Player of the Week does it again for the Flames. Flames would cap that drive off here with a John Lunsford 37-yard field goal. Put Liberty up 52 to 14. Fourth quarter, Flames up big and hold on, we got an Austin Kegler siding. Third rushing touchdown of the year for Kegler. Comes from one yard out and that puts the finishing touches on this one. Flames would give up a late score, but they go on to win 59-21 over Brevard College. The night belongs to the seniors. Eight straight senior day wins for the Liberty Flames, who will now have a chance to play for a share of the Big South Championship next week in North Charleston against Charleston Southern. And a really special night for the aforementioned Michael Johnson, a one-time a baseball pitcher for Longwood, transferring to Liberty and going out on senior night with his first career touchdown. I was, just, I was pretty excited. I uh, saw the Bucks laying in, and I knew when I bump out, I was like, there's going to be nobody out there. And I turned around and saw the end zone and saw uh, the wide receivers blocking for me, guys just falling down. And I was like, I'm going to get in that end zone. It's uh, my first touchdown, and I got to get in there. And it was just it was a blessing. Uh, so happy about it. I was so excited. And uh, it, it was a little emotional, um, but I held it in until I got inside. So it, it was good. Um, Definitely great to play here. Definitely great uh, to be part of this team. And I'm just excited just to see how God uses this team. Well, I think it was a good, good ball game by all of our guys. The defense played well. Our offense played extremely well as far as being able to score on every drive. That's uh, I don't think I've been involved in that. I've been been close to that, but uh, a great job by our offense. I mean, it's good to go out and execute and do the things you had to do. And so it's great to build up on that and get ready for our next ball game.